Uh, welcome back to Outreview. My name is Patrick and today I have the pleasure again to show you an AMG model. As you can see this time this is the ML63 AMG a V8B turbo. Uh, it's one of the newer engines. Uh, it was not the 6.2 liter anymore even though it says 63. It's a 5.5 liter V8. Um, the stock, stock uh, 63 AMG produces uh, 525 horsepower and 700 newton meters. This one is the AMG Performance Package, producing 557 horsepower and 760 newton meters of torque. Uh, that one comes with an optional 21 inch uh, on 295-35R21. Uh, uh, we have a little bit different design, uh, which is Designo, which is the individual program from Mercedes. We have the suede leather uh, on the steering wheel as well as on the roof. And uh, that car goes like a beast. It's 0 to 100 for the regular one without the performance package in 4.8 seconds. This one goes in 4.7 seconds. Uh, top speed is 250. However, if you would like to go faster, you can just pay a little bit extra and you get the AMG driver's package. And then this beast will go 280 kilometers an hour. So enough of the specs. Let me show you the interior boot. This time we're going to make it very short because I want to drive more of this car rather than telling you while standing. Let's hop in. Okay, very quick for the interior. Obviously everything is leather and wood and metal. Um, suede leather on the steering wheel on the, or on the sides where you grip it as well as on the roof line. And on the sides, uh, the seats are electric obviously, uh, cooled and heated. Um, you can uh, adjust the, the side, how much they basically grip you in which is very nice, so you can either make it very comfortable or very sporty. Uh, we have uh, shift pedals, which is something really cool in the 4x4, uh, but obviously with the power you need that, uh, or it's a nice gimmick to have. And a uh, few options to basically put stuff here in the middle, uh, something cool I can tell you when you drive. I have enough space, I sit very nice, I see very good. Only thing is the mirrors could be a little bit bigger for me. Uh, let's hop in the back, the boot, and then we hit the road. So in the back, as you can see, I have still plenty of room, a lot of room actually. Uh, then the suede leather continues, obviously. We have an armrest with two cup holders. Um, we have a DVD compartment, which uh, obviously feeds the two DVD screens in the handrests. Two 12 volt uh, power sockets. Air vents here. Uh, the sun roller, which you'll see in the back seat uh, on the right side and left uh, manually. And we have the sunroof, which actually is divided in two, uh, though only that part uh, will open. Um, very comfortable. You can adjust uh, the incline which is nice, a lot of space, uh, air condition uh, units as well, which you can uh, control here. So we have a three zone AC and uh, the headrests are really nice. Uh, I'll tell you when we drive about it. So let's, let me show you the boot and I really love this car so far. Okay, so from the back, what do we have? Some Chrome, ML63, this is what you want to see, 63 AMG on the right. Uh, four, two times dual exhaust left and right. So four exhausts and the sound is amazing, I'll show it to you. Oh, you've heard it already in the beginning of the video, but you're going to hear it in the car as well. So, boot is electric uh, opened, um, big space with a net to protect. If you have the uh, second row up, it's 690 liters. If you fold it down, it's above 2000 liters. Uh, it's quite big. You see, this is the 80 centimeter slider. No problem to fit in at all. Full spare wheel below. And here we have a button for actually a hook that will come out from the bottom. Um, you can tow up to three tons with this car. Uh, weight of the car is, by the way, uh, 2,345 2, kilograms, so just 2.35 uh, tons. Um, and for that, the car is pretty fast. So now, finished with that, let's hit the road finally. First of all, there's no gear knob on the side, it's next to the steering wheel. And How do we get out? Okay, we have to go one more round, sorry. Okay, here we go. So, the good thing about the ML63 is that, first of all, that popping, screaming, shooting exhaust is just... That is why I love AMG so much. The sound they produce is just amazing. I feel a bit sorry that the big engines are dying out slowly, slowly because of 
CO2 emission standards and all this stuff that's going on in Europe. And I am from Germany, so I am for the environment, but at the same time, I love cars like this. So now this is the 5.5, as I mentioned, and with the performance package. And now let's go through a little tunnel. I am in sport, so let's go slow now. that lovely that's more than lovely okay <clears throat> so I drive it already the SL 63 AMG which uh, you can check in a link below which was amazing but why I like this one actually more and usually I'm not really a fan of 4x4s but why I like this more is it has still a 5.5 liter V8 engine with tons of horsepower 557 in uh, the performance package it sounds like every other AMG, which is great. And what's even better is you can put five people in this car. So I could take my family with it. And this is something that I'm missing in uh, the SL, for example. And from the performance of this car, 4.7 seconds to 100. And if you get the uh, available AMG package, um, on top of the performance package, this thing will go 208 kilometers an hour. Well, fuel consumption. You shouldn't talk about it actually in this car, but uh, well, we have to because I am reviewing this car. So, uh, I have driven not much so far because uh, I only got it uh, the day before yesterday and I was busy yesterday. Um, roughly 200 kilometers and my average fuel consumption was 23 and a half liters. But obviously, it was driving like this because I can't get enough of this popping exhaust sound. Uh, it is just purely beautiful. Now, a few gimmicks or a few highlights of this car as well. Obviously, everything is leather. We have a uh, uh, night vision, which will not work now. The uh, problem with the night vision is uh, that the camera angle is very narrow and because this one is a 4x4 it's kind of showing more of the, uh, the sky than on the road. So I would say actually a third of this, uh, uh, bottom third is the road and the uh, rest is the sky. So if they could put it down a bit, I'm not quite sure if you can do it or not, uh, that would help. And getting a wider angle. Um, which is good uh, is that they recognize or it recognizes uh, pedestrians, uh, which you wouldn't see with a normal eye in the night. Then, what I really like is the steering wheel. I love the suede leather here, uh, as well as on the roof line. It is really nice, though it will wear down um, after some time, uh, just uh, of the material uh, it is. Then, one really cool thing is, and I was super amazed, it has a cooled and heated cup holder. Um, now it was heating, now I just put it in cool, and actually it illuminates it in blue and red, obviously. sound is well okay coming back to it I'm sorry I'm gonna go back and forth with it because this is the main thing why I love this car so much so it is cooling and heating the cups which is really really nice I have not seen this anywhere else so far um, then we have a little bit of storage here we have storage in the doors uh, glove box is decent size we have a big compartment in the middle with a USB to charge your phone or any other stuff uh, now we just had a little um, what is it called uh, hole, not a hole in the road, um, where the water basically goes in, the drainage, and you can see it was quite rough because now I have it in sport suspension, so you can change the suspension from um, Comfort to Sport and Sport Plus, so I was driving it in Sport Plus the entire time, and you can change the uh, gear um, changes from Manual to Comfort to Sport, and again... in sport because it's just much more fun um, so yeah let's close this and this one makes a difference it doesn't make much of a difference in the steering I find it a little bit too soft I mean obviously you have the, the um, gravity of the car the, the, yeah, the 
the weight of the car is much higher because it's a 4x4, but still, even though in sport I would like to have it a bit more stiff uh, when it comes to the driving of and uh, steering of the steering wheel. Um, that they could maybe fix in some kind of you know software update uh, if they do the car just to have a stiffer response of the steering. Uh, now we have, as you heard, uh, blind spot assistant. We have a lane departure. We have adaptive cruise control, uh, Distronic Plus. So I set it on 100. Uh, it drives. If the car comes in front of me, it will automatically slow down to a certain point. It will not stop completely. It will alert you, but it really really helps you. Um, it's really a system program, not uh, something like we've seen for example in Infinity, which slows down to a full stop. Now we have a compartment for the glasses, we have two sunroofs where this part actually opens, um, but it gets more light and because this one as you have seen from outside, it has tinted windows by default uh, from the second row onwards and you have the nets um, in the passenger doors, plus you have a net in the back just to uh, have the storage compartment um, separated and that makes the car quite dark. You have this dark brown interior here, everything is pretty dark uh, despite the uh, aluminum parts here and it's a bit dark inside the car uh, but the sunroof helps a lot. Um, what I really like as well is, is just the performance, I mean come on this car is 2.35 tons heavy, it's heavy, it's not like it's heavy and has the same acceleration as the A45 AMG which is has a smaller engine but weighs maybe a ton less. So performance-wise, this car is just amazing. It is just amazing. Um, I don't know what really to say, to criticize about the car, uh, other than I have to, because I am kind of environmentally friendly, if I can say that, driving a car like this. Um, 23 and a half liters, and I was driving, I, I really was driving this car properly, uh, and I had fun with it. Um, it should be less. I mean, Mercedes says it's around 15 liters, I think, on 100 kilometers. And I think if you really put it in comfort, in echo mode, and uh, start-stop uh, will be activated, and you use it at traffic light, you really, really, really take it easy, you might get down to this 15, 16 liters, um, though not in city. to be driven in Germany. I have no idea, but thank you very much AMG. Um, space in the back you've seen is enough. Space in boot is really good as well. I like the looks of the car and if you think about the first ML that came out was the one from Jurassic Park if you remember. This was 1997. I'm sorry Mercedes, this was a really ugly fatty car. Uh, I really didn't like that one. The last one was a bit better but this one is actually really beautiful. And uh, I have reviewed as well the GL500, um, uh, check the link below as well in the description, uh, which is kind of the same kind of setup car, is a bit bigger and has a third row uh, if you need more space. And that one is available as a 63 AMG as well. However, I think this one is more of a driver's vehicle. If you really have a small family, two kids, wife and you, uh, that will do it better than, than just good. Um, Price $114,300 for the stock um, 63 ML63 in Dubai. Uh, performance package cost on top, AMG package. I'm not quite sure if you actually can get it in Dubai or not, um, but in Germany it's just around 3,400 euros, so it would be like 17,000 dirham. Maybe you get it for 15 here. But at the end, the only thing it does actually is pretty much uh, gives you a higher top speed of uh, 250 kilometers an hour and um, 280 kilometers an hour, sorry. And I'm not sure where you can drive that in Dubai. I mean, you know, Dubai is a culture of hypercars and supercars, and people drive to speed somewhere, um, but on a daily basis you can't really drive it, so it would be kind of a waste of money to just spend that on. I rather would put it in this really nice interior, as you can see, this is the design uh, from Mercedes. I do like this brown, I like this kind of wood panel here and on the side. That is all great, and now let's listen one more time to the engine before we say goodbye to the exhaust. How can you not love this sound? If you don't love the sound, something is wrong with you.
Dot. Exclamation mark. That's it. Thank you very much, Gargash, for providing this car to me. Thank you very much, Canon, for providing me the Canon Legra Mini. And uh, I'm looking forward to driving next AMG because I love Mercedes. We have a few in the family. Um, so, great car. Go ahead, check out the showroom on Czech Zeit Road. Um, great car. Have a good day. See you next time. Ooh, subscribe. Ask any questions, comment below, share the video, give it a thumbs up, like it, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.